Hello friends, welcome to TechRest channel. This is for the tech by your tech. In this video, we will discuss about bacterial culture media. There are many culture medias prepared in the microbiology lab for the growth of microorganisms. We will classify them in the simple manner. For the bacteria to grow, they need basic nutrition and fastidious organisms need some special nutrition for their growth. For the growth of non-fastidious organisms, they need water, basically electrolytes, protein and carbohydrates. In addition to nutrition, they need optimum pH to grow. Most of the pathogenic bacteria grows at neutral pH that is around 7. The culture media are incubated at particular temperature for the growth. Pathogenic bacteria are mesophilic. They grow better at 30 to 40 degrees centigrade. Anaerobic bacteria grows in the absence of oxygen. So we need to provide the oxygen free environment for the growth of anaerobic bacteria. Friends, if you are working in the lab or if you are a lab personnel, please subscribe this channel for more lab test phlebotomy work and the quality control in the lab. We will see the types of media according to the physical characters. The culture media can be classified into three types. The basic is a liquid media contains water and other nutrition. They have no solidifying agent present in the media. These are used for basic growth of bacteria and sugar fermentation test. Example, the peptone water. The peptone water contains the basic peptone and water that is used for indol reaction. The next is semi-solid media. Semi-solid media are prepared with low amount of solidifying agent that is 0.1 to 0.5 percent either it's gelatin or agar agar for solidifying agent. Bacteria move with the help of flagella. The motility of bacteria is identified by the motility in the semi-solid medium. Vibrio cholera has a unique motility identified using hanging drop preparation. Manitol motility semi-solid medium is used to differentiate motile and non-motile bacteria. And semi-solid medium mainly used for transport so that the sample doesn't get dried up. The third classification is the solid medium. Solid medias are used for culture identification, subcultures and antibiotic susceptibility testing of bacteria. Agar agar is a solidifying agent used in most of the medias to solidify as it has no major component that can inhibit their growth. Many special purpose media are available for growth of certain types of bacteria according to the types of ingredients the media can be classified into different types basic media these media are used for growth of most non-fastidious bacteria the example is the nutrient agar used for primary isolation of microorganisms enriched media to the basal media some of the extra nutrition are added for the growth of some bacteria blood serum or egg yolk are added to the basal media to make it enriched media. Blood agar is the good example of enriched media. 5 to 10 percent of defibrinated sheep blood is added to blood agar base. Most of the bacteria grows on blood agar because of its richness in blood. The other example is the laughless serum slope contains serum. Next is selective media. Selective media or agar based solid media contains certain antibiotics or chemicals that can suppress the growth of some bacteria that are not important and allow the growth of other bacteria that are clinically important. That is, they suppress the growth of common cells and enhance the growth of pathogens which are clinically important. The example for uh, selective media is the McConkie agar contains bile salt that inhibits the growth of gram-positive bacteria and allows the growth of Enterobacteriaceae. The other example is Manitol salt agar contains 10% sodium chloride allows the growth of Staph aureus from other bacteria. The increased concentration of sodium chloride inhibits other bacteria and Staph aureus can grow at high level of sodium chloride in the media. 
Next is the enrichment media. These are broth medium usually and they increase the growth of specific pathogens and suppress the growth of common cells which are medically not important. These specific organisms are then plated on a solid medium for the isolation. Selenite F broth is a good example of enrichment medium that used for good recovery of salmonella species and reduce the growth of fecal coliforms. Selenite is the selective agent inhibit the growth of coliforms and other competing bacteria as salmonella grows in the medium. It reduces selenite and produces alkaline that increase the pH and reduce the inhibitory effect of selenite. The acid produced by sugar fermentation helps maintain a neutral pH and further it supports the growth of salmonella. Next is the differential medium. Some people also call it as indicator media. This media contains certain dyes or metabolic substances. The bacteria are differentiated by their colony color. According to their utility of these substances, differential media allows the growth of more than one microorganisms of interest with different morphology of colonies that are easy to identify. The example is the TCBS, thiosulfate citrate bile sucrose. Vibrio cholera produces yellow colonies. Vibrio parohemolyticus produces green colonies. The other example is the McConkey agar that can produce lactose fermenting colonies in pink color and non-lactose fermenting colonies are colorless or they are in yellow color. Next is this transport media. Clinical samples must be transported to the lab immediately to avoid the overgrowth of common cells over the pathogens. This transport medium prevents the sample drying and maintain the common cell pathogen ratio. Some of these transport media are semi-solid and contains charcoal to neutralize the inhibitory factor to keep the microorganisms viable. Carriblayer transport medium used for transporting clinical samples suspected to contain enteric pathogens such as Shigella, Salmonella, Vibrio cholerae and E. coli. There are many other types of classification of the culture media are available, but these are the basic ones. Many types of modification in each media to grow the particular bacteria, we need to add certain ingredients to make it rich and allow the bacteria to grow. Even with the many types of media, some of the bacteria cannot be grown on the artificial media like Mycobacterium leprae or Trypanema pallidum. They need animal inoculation or cell culture for the growth. Friends, thanks for watching. Please share, like and subscribe. Thanks.